They have a uh, suspect in that Idaho murder. But my question is, uh, why? You know, although they're going to have to judge him whether he did it or not. You know, who knows? They might have found a store owner that sold him the K-Bar. There might have been uh, somebody he dated in the area. Uh, had a complaint about a dog barking or that they partied all the time. I don't know if that was a part of the school area or if that place was an apartment in just a normal neighborhood and somebody was trying to work or somebody else was had hard studies and people partying all the time. Maybe in a liberal arts uh, class they didn't study as hard. As somebody else, maybe, I don't know, business or whatever. And he was dating them, and they said, oh, they they party all the time. He said, oh, have you called the cops? Yeah, but they don't do anything because this is a college town. That's where the money comes from, you know, to pay the police department is all the college. And so, you know, he said, oh, I know what it is, you know. I know what it's like to struggle and to go to college, and uh, you have to pay for it, or your parents are paying for it, or... You studied real hard all 12 years and you get a scholarship and you want to make it and I, I know what it's like, you know, I, my parents or whatever put me uh, through, or put me through college and uh, they work real hard and uh, yeah, it's too bad that you're having all that problem and uh, maybe something will get done about it. Maybe the, you know, maybe they'll uh, realize uh, they need to quit party. Oh no, they won't. They've always been. They can. Everybody complains about them. They don't care. They're, they're rich kids, and their parents. Are, oh, that's too bad. And so, he's like, he hears a complaint about that a couple times. Maybe confronts them. Maybe doesn't. Maybe just notices who it is that's doing the uh, noise making. Goes back, you know, sits around thinking of quotes. He's a uh, part of the, he's, he's, he's a uh, volunteered for, I don't know what it said. He was volunteered at the police department. So he's getting some sort of, uh, you know, he's starting to get the feeling of power and that he could make a decision on his own and uh, do something. And then he gets a quote, uh, evil exists when good men do nothing. And so. He thinks, well, I'm a, I'm a good man, I'm a good student, and uh, maybe I should do something. Then it just builds up. He goes through thinking, and he ends up killing him. And uh, instead of uh, doing that, you know, you back off. Because if you think about it, the motive for killing four people, that would have had to been, they would have had to been some pretty high stakes you know they would have i mean what would they have done to uh to cause somebody to kill them i mean it's like college kids yeah they're noisy and uh you always hear about how hard it is to study i don't know where people go where people live that they want to study because apparently everywhere in the in dorms and in fraternities everybody's noisy so where do you study at? I don't know. Library, I guess. And uh, maybe some people, I don't know. Yeah, anyway, whether, whether, whatever it is, you know, it's, why do people, uh, why are there problems in society? Why do people have problems with other people? <clears throat> some people are like, uh, they got quotes in them that tell them that, they have a right to do anything they want. They think uh, freedom means free to do whatever you want, but you know, all that is uh, all that has a uh, a bunch of different reasons too. It's maybe reasons are the problem, or maybe evil is something that when good uh, it wants something done. Evil is something that needs something done. So that quote could be pushing people toward evil. I don't know.